Hi guys, tonight's story is called Diego's Wolf Pup Rescue. And Kezia is going to help me with the animal sounds tonight because she does so much better than me. We're animal rescuers, shouted Diego as he slid down the pole from the Animal Rescue Center's observation platform. Animal rescuers, chanted his cousin Dora as she followed Diego down the pole. Dora was visiting the Animal Rescue Center and Diego had a special surprise for her. Watch this, said Diego as he cupped his hand to his mouth and called, A ruff! A ruff! Suddenly, several maned wolf pups poked their heads out of the tall grass. A ruff! A ruff! They barked. Maned wolf pups, said Dora excitedly. What a great surprise! The pups playfully scampered over to Diego and Dora. They're so small, giggled Dora as the pups climbed on her. And this one is the littlest, said Diego as he stroked the tiny pup's fur. Aren't they cute? Yeah. Just then, Diego's sister, Alicia, arrived with Mommy Maned Wolf. Mommy Maned Wolf came to the rescue center to have her wolf pups, Alicia explained. Dora turned to Mommy Maned Wolf. Your little pups are so cute, and there are so many of them. Maned wolves can have up to five pups at a time, Mommy Maned Wolf said proudly. How many pups are there? asked Diego. Let's count them. Dora and Diego counted the wolf pups. One, two, three, four. Four maned wolf pups. Mommy Maned Wolf gasped. Only four maned wolf pups, she asked. But I have five pups. My littlest pup is missing. Don't worry, Mommy Maned Wolf, said Diego. We're animal rescuers. We'll find your littlest pup. Alicia decided to stay at the Animal Rescue Center to help Mommy Maned Wolf with the other pups. Go, animal rescuers, go, she cheered as Diego and Dora ran off toward the science deck. Diego and Dora ran over to their special camera, Click. Click can help us find the baby maned wolf, said Diego. Click zoomed through the forest and found the tiny little wolf pup. He's heading for the prickers and thorns, said Diego, watching closely. He could get hurt. We've got to rescue him, said Dora. El rescate, shouted Diego to the rescue. Diego and Dora jumped on a zip cord and zoomed through the forest. They landed at the fork in the road. Look, said Diego, there are prints on each path, but which ones belong to the baby maned wolf, Dora asked. Diego pulled out his field journal and scrolled to a picture of a maned wolf's paw print. Which path has prints that look like these? He asked. These prints match, exclaimed Dora as she pointed to the third path. Vamanos, let's go! The path led them to a river. Diego pulled out his spotting scope and located the wolf pup's prints on the far bank. We need to get across this river to keep following the wolf pup's tracks, said Diego. I can help, called out Rescue Pack. Me too, chimed in Backpack. Rescue Pack and Backpack worked together to help Diego and Dora across the river. Rescue Pack transformed himself into a raft. Backpack gave, him, gave them paddles and a life jacket. After turning his vest into a second life jacket, Diego jumped into the raft next to Dora. They started to paddle down the river. Suddenly, Diego noticed a river otto, a river otter, <laughs> stuck in a whirlpool. We have to rescue the river otter, he shouted. Diego threw a life preserver to the river otter, and the river otter scrambled onto it. Then Diego and Dora pulled the river otter to safety. Thanks for rescuing me, said the river otter. We're animal rescuers, replied Diego. It's what we do. 
That'd be a fun job to rescue animals. Yeah. Once on shore, Diego and Dora ran toward the prickers and thorns. But when they arrived, the little maned wolf was nowhere in sight. Diego cupped his hands to his ears to listen for the pup. Finally, he heard a bark. A rough. Good job. It sounds like he's in these bushes, said Diego. Diego and Dora stretched up tall to see over the prickers and thorn bushes. The little maned wolf was heading toward a sharp prickly bush. Stop, baby maned wolf, called Diego and Dora. Stop! Baby maned wolf heard the warning and stopped right in front of the sharp prickly bush. Diego and Dora ran over to the little wolf pup and knelt and knelt down next to him. Hi, baby maned wolf, Diego said. We're animal rescuers. You're safe now. Thanks for rescuing me, said baby maned wolf. I can't wait to see my mommy and my brothers and sisters. Back at the animal rescue center, mommy maned wolf nuzzled her littlest pup and made sure he wasn't hurt. Baby maned wolf was so happy to be with his family that he jumped into Diego's arms and gave him a big lick on the cheek. <laughs> Cute. Then baby maned wolf curled up next to the other pups and fell fast asleep. Mission cumpliado, rescue complete, whispered Diego. That was a great animal adventure. Look at the mama's a different color. She's orange. Yes. Yeah, <clears throat> says, did you know the main event? The maned wolf is called maned because it grows a mane, like a horse, mm -hmm. a mane of long black hair on its back. Maned wolves live in grasslands and swampy areas. The maned wolf's long legs allow it to see over tall grass. Maned wolves talk to each other by howling and maned wolves can rotate their large ears to listen for other animals. They have excellent hearing. I've never heard of these wolves before. Yeah. Well, I learned something new too. Yeah. I like animal books. Yeah. And tonight in our Bible, we're reading out of Exodus 13 through 15, out of Egypt. The Israelites hurried along the road. Some led flocks of sheep or goats or herds of cattle. Moses was taking them out of Egypt to a new place all their own. They had to move very quickly. Remember Pharaoh finally decided to let them go? Yeah. God was there to show the Israelites the way. By day, he went ahead of them in a pillar of cloud, and by night, he went with them in a pillar of fire to give them light, and so they could travel by day and by night. So that's how they knew where to go. They followed the cloud in the day and the fire at night. God told Moses to take the people across the desert to the Red Sea. When they got to the sea, they looked behind them and a great army was coming. Pharaoh had once again changed his mind now he did not want to lose his slaves. He had sent soldiers and horsemen to bring them back. Look at that. They're chasing them. And the Israelites had nowhere to run. They cried out in fear. But God came again to Moses. He said, lift up your staff and stretch your hand over the sea. Moses did as he was told. And lo, the waters of the sea divided. Between the two walls of water was dry ground so that the Israelites could cross the sea. Can you imagine? The army of Pharaoh saw what was happening. The horsemen and the soldiers in their chariots rode after the Israelites into the parted sea. But God slowed them down and he made the wheels of the chariots fall off and the horses lose their footing. And the Israelites passed through the sea then God said to Moses, lift your hand over the sea once more. When Moses turned and lifted his hand, the waters of the Red Sea flowed back together. 
the sea covered the chariots and horsemen. Pharaoh's army was washed away. The Israelites celebrated their safe journey out of Egypt. All day they sang and danced and praised God. They were free. They made it across the Red Sea. God helped them. Yeah. Because um, he told Moses. them to lift his arm up. Yep. His, his staff over the sea and it parted the waters. Yeah. What a miracle God pr- provided for them. Yeah. Well, I hope you liked the story tonight. Good night.